Well, sunshine's back again tomorrow, but it should be a little warmer by afternoon. Temperatures back up above 80 degrees. By the time we get through uh, late Wednesday and Wednesday night, we'll be tracking a cold front moving through Texas. And by Thursday, temperatures will be taking a big drop. May spend most of Thursday in the 50s. Same thing goes for Friday. May have a hard time even getting above 50. Probably not a lot of rain, but some drizzle or a few light rain showers could fall as the front passes and behind the front a Thursday and the Friday. So and not maybe not as wet as Sunday was. Hey, check out temperatures now. We're in the 60s, 65 in Harlingen and Brownsville, 68 in Rio Grande City. And temperatures should have no trouble getting into the 50s pretty quickly this evening. The winds decreasing from the northwest. Wind speeds roughly now about 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few spots a little bit stronger than that in the lower valley. But your evening planner, very light winds. Sun goes down, temperatures go down through the 60s into the 50s pretty quickly and into the 50s throughout the evening and night. So it's not going to be a very warm evening, but there won't be much wind around. So a nice cool evening to be outside if you want to take a little run or a walk in the cool autumn air. Now satellite radar shows the clear skies taking over pretty quickly. The last round of showers moved through this morning just by early to mid morning after sunrise and now it's all clear for the most part. Even look to the north, there's not much else going on across South Texas. A couple of showers still spinning with an upper level disturbance up in the hill country, but things are clearing out pretty nicely for the next day or so. So a future track does show the rest of this evening and tonight, mainly just clear skies, cool temperatures overnight. Again, down through the 50s, some spots may try to reach the upper 40s in some of the rural areas of northern Hidalgo County, parts of Star County tonight. And then by tomorrow, sun comes back, not much wind and a lot of uh, warmer temperatures by afternoon. It should be up around 80 degrees by uh, at least the early afternoon in most of the valley with the uh, light winds continuing from the southeast tomorrow. Now as we go into Wednesday, models kind of a little bit tricky. We should pick up some extra clouds. Some of the models say this front moving into the north may kind of shift the winds around more to the north in some areas, which could keep a lid on temperatures with the clouds, maybe stuck in the 70s. But if the front's able to hold off a little bit in some areas, you still may make the 80 degree mark or so on Wednesday. But the big push of Chilly air starts to really hit very late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Maybe a few showers when the front passes, getting windy, especially at the coast on Thursday. And clouds will be around. You might see a little bit of drizzle or sprinkles. A chilly day. It's going to be hard to stay in the mid-50s most of the day. Gusty winds from the north, and that chilly weather will stay here through Friday as well. The temperatures, you want to take a little peek into the future. Warm tomorrow afternoon, up around 80 degrees. And you see by Tuesday night, not as cool, mostly in the 60s. By Wednesday, still have a chance to maybe hit the 80-degree mark in parts of the valley, depending on the cloud cover. And then by Thursday, here comes a drop in temperatures. You see by morning, mid morning at 9 a.m. It's in the 50s, kind of hangs in the 50s at lunchtime and may not get out of the 50s all day. So your first 1570 forecast, another drop in temperatures with a cold front for Thursday and Friday. Until then, a little warm up for tomorrow and kind of a warm up on Wednesday, at least in the 70s. And then Thursday and Friday, the temperatures fall apart with highs in the 50s. Again, may have a hard time even staying in the low 50s on Friday. We should begin to clear out Saturday. It may wake up the clouds and chilly temperatures. I think by afternoon the sun may come out and then warmer weather returns Sunday and Monday. Keep tracking the big cold front ahead in your first 1-5 forecast. Carrie.